All right, so this is a video tutorial on how to basically do a simple synth sweep. Um, I'm using massive, as the video description says. Um, so we're going to start out first by just turning on all three of these oscillators. It's going to give you a flat sound, which is kind of a standard oscillator sound. You can use any basic shape for the oscillators you want. So first I'm going to go into my... LFO here, and I'm going to set it to about 4 over 1, and that just gives it a good progression to kind of evolve as a sweep. So it's going to be kind of like a long, evolving, um, high getting higher pitched kind of a sound. So I'm going to apply that LFO to um, the amp on all three of my channels, and also um, the intensity. Um, so that's just going to give it more of a dynamic range and it's kind of going to build up as uh, as it goes. So you can see here the shape I used for my LFO is actually a downward slope, while the sound I want to create is uh, kind of an upward sound. So I'm using the gray area, which is actually the backwards end of that LFO. So it's actually going backwards instead of going um kind of a downward slope, it's going upwards. So what I'm doing now is uh, I'm affecting the pitch of each oscillator. And what that is going to do is it's going to apply this slope to the pitch whenever I hit the oscillating note. So what it's going to sound like is nothing at first, and then it's going to build up to a, a higher pitch and a louder progression. So it doesn't sound like anything so far. I actually forgot to put the LFO on the third oscillator there, so let's do that. And as you see, I'm going to reverse it, um, so the gray portion is affecting it more than the green portion, so it's going backwards, um, and that's just because the slope is downwards, and I want it to sound like it's going up. So don't get discouraged if you when you hit the key, you don't initially hear something um, right away. It is kind of a build-up, so I'm hitting it now, and going to take a little bit to build up and then it drops off. It just follows that shape of a kind of a lopsided triangle. So you can kind of add some more parameters or kind of vary it up to make whatever kind of sound you are looking for. This is just kind of a simple structure. Um, as you can see I'm adding some delay and I'm also going to have it um, the LFO affect the noise. Um, to kind of give it more of like a fuzzy kind of sound. Um, so right now, it sounds like this. And that just kind of add a lot more depth and a lot more space to the sound. And what you can also do is you can uh, expand the length of your triangle to kind of make it a longer build up. Um, and basically you can make it however long or short you want. Um, this is what it sounds like when it's 8 over 1. So yeah, um, you can kind of go whatever way you want with the synth. It's really handy for build-ups in songs or uh, if you're doing special effects for, I don't know, some kind of space sound effects or, I don't know, anything that you'd be doing special effects for, I guess. Um, it's just kind of a simple build-up and I use it a lot. It's pretty handy. Um, thanks for watching.